In this example problem, we're going to say that a number 11 bar is embedded in a wall. And we want to figure out how thick the wall needs to be. Um, if we want to develop the uh, reinforcement right at the um, point when the bar exits the wall. Um, so we're going to look at both a straight bar using the ACI detailed procedure and a standard hook um, using, once again, the, uh, the ACI procedure. Um, and, we, and we can see that we will have two inches of cover on the uh, back side of the bar and uh, two inches of cover on the back side of the hook. First, looking at the development length required of the straight bar using the ACI detailed procedure. Um, so we can see uh, we'll use our, our ACI procedure and we first need to figure out all of our, our different factors. Um, so we're not given any information on the epoxy um, bar factor and we know our, our bar is larger than a number seven. And uh, we have normal weight concrete. So all of these factors are gonna be equal to 1.0. Uh, it does appear that we have more than 12 inches cast below these bars. So our uh, top bar factor is gonna be equal to 1.3. Uh, next, We'll look at our, our CB plus KTR over DB term. Um, for solid blocks of concrete, this term is going to be equal to our, our upper limit, 2.5. So we'll have a, a CB plus KTR uh, over DB uh, equal to 2.5. And this is true for uh, sol or solid or, or large blocks of concrete. We can now plug all of our values into our development length expression. So our LDH, or sorry, our LD is then going to be equal to 3 over 40 times 60,000 PSI over 1.0 times the square root of 4,000 PSI. times 1 1.3, 1 1.0, 1 1.0, and then divided by uh, 2.5. And then all of this times our bar diameter, which for a number 11 bar is 1.41 inches. Uh, so this will give us a development length then of 52.2 52 inches. And we remember that our minimum is 12 inches, and we're far greater than our 12, so we're okay here. And uh, so now we can figure out our, our total thickness. So our minimum thickness of our wall would be our LD, 52.2, plus 2 inches which is the distance from the end of the bar to the end of the wall. So 54.2 inches. Finally, we will uh, find the minimum th wall thickness if we used a hooked bar. And uh, we'll assume that we have the uh, ACI um, standard um, geometry for our, our hook. Um, so we need to figure out our different factors. We have uh, normal weight concrete, so I have uh, 1.0 here. Uh, we have um, uncoated bars, so 1.0 here. Uh, our cover in the back and the sides um, is sufficient, so we can have this 0.7 reduction factor. Um, and then we don't know any information on our confining reinforcement, so for this we're just going to take 1.0. Uh, but if we had some uh, confining reinforcement, then we may be able to take uh, an additional 20% uh, reduction for our development length. We're now ready to plug all of our values into our uh, ACI expressions. So our LDH 
is going to be equal to 60,000 PSI times 1.0 times 0.7 times 1.0 and then all divided by 50 times 1.0 times the square root of 4,000 PSI and then all of this times our bar diameter 1.41 inches. So we'll get our LDH then to be equal to 18 0.7 inches. We can check this off of our uh, minimums. So 8 times uh, diameter of a bar, so 8 times 1.41 is 11.3. So we're okay here. And then 6 inches, we're greater than 6 inches. So we have our uh, de hook development length. We can then uh, figure out our minimum wall thickness. Which is going to be equal to our 18.7, our development length requirement, plus 2 inches back cover, will give us 20.7 inches. So we can see that uh, hooking our bars reduces our um, development length requirement by <laughs> over 30 inches, so we can uh, we can save um, substantial length using a hooked bar.